Hey everyone, Matt Cameron from BHHS Blake Realtors. On today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna teach you how to take better photos with your iPhone, and we're starting right now. All right, let's get two minutes on that clock. And here we go. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and go over to the App Store. So hit the App Store, and then you wanna hit your search button. And we're going to search for camera plus two. So camera. There it is. Camera plus. We're going to click on that. We're going to scroll down until we see camera plus two. Now mine says open, but yours is going to say install. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get that installed. So once we get it installed, we want to go ahead and get it up on a tripod or if you're not gonna use a tripod, you wanna do your best to try to hold it steady and you wanna take the photos horizontally. That's where the phone is longer left to right than it is top to bottom. So take your photo, it works just like the iPhone native app. You're gonna hit the white button, it'll take the photo, you'll be done. Then what we wanna do is next to our white button is going to be another button that looks like a flower inside of a box. We're gonna go ahead and hit that and that's gonna bring up Lightbox, which is the app's uh, photo gallery. So you go ahead and select the photo that you took, and it'll bring up a little menu on the bottom. We wanna hit Edit, which is the little paintbrush, and it'll bring up some options for you here. The first one you see is Clarify. If you hit that, it does some auto stuff. I think it looks kinda of cartoonish, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna scroll all the way to the right until we see a button that says Backlight. We're going to go ahead and hit the backlight button. And, I mean, already it looks a lot better. It's a lot brighter. And it looks a lot more professional. So the next thing we're going to do, I want to bring out the darks a little bit more. So I'm going to hit the lab button. That's the little beaker down at the bottom. And that'll bring us some new options. And we're going to scroll right until we see sharpen. Go ahead and hit sharpen. And that's going to bring up this little bar at the bottom. Now we can slide it all the way right. We can slide it all the way left. What you want to do is kind of try to bring out the darker colors without it washing everything else out. I think that looks pretty good right there, so we're going to go with that. All right, so if I'm done making edits, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done, which is on the top right of the screen. That'll bring me back to the light box. And then I'm going to hit Save. Your Save button uh, is the little flower with the arrow going into it. Just hit Save. Makes that cool little noise, and boom! Your photo is now saved to your gallery, and you are all set. All right, so we went a little over the two minute time, but we still got done what we wanted to do in just about two and a half minutes. Um, now keep in mind that the iPhone is never gonna compare to like a professional photographer or a professional DSLR camera, but if it's all you got, if you're selling it on your own, if you're one of those uh, for sale by owner type people, this is a really good way to still get good photos that you can put out there. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found the content helpful, then be sure to hit that like button. It would also mean the world to me if you would subscribe and hit that bell to see my latest content. You can also follow me on social media at Cameron Connects for decorating tips, home improvement, and of course the latest properties for sale. Thanks again for watching.